along their life course. So I'd like to commend this very good bill to the House. Uh, I understand this is a split call. Paul yeah. Eagle, five minutes. Uh, kia ora ana, whakalo flakia tu e malo ni, and thank you Madam Speaker for uh, this uh, opportunity to uh, talk on this bill, and can I acknowledge, as others have already, uh, our dignitaries in the uh, House uh, this afternoon. I also want to acknowledge all of those uh, who have put, put work into uh, making this bill what it is today, and uh, there are many who have uh, given a contribution, not only our, our Pacific uh, brothers and sisters on both sides of the House, but many of us who have uh, the Pacific uh, feeling and, and uh, willingness to ensure uh, that our Pacific nations, uh, particularly those who are New Zealand citizens, are acknowledged as such and given uh, the same rights and, 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 uh, and uh, <coughs> fortune uh, that those living on the New Zealand mainland have wanted to also there, there was uh, there was some debate around who's done what and where and how but look I uh, think the former Prime Minister went part way to bring a solution here this this government uh, has gone the full way and through the Honourable Minister Carmel Sepuloni uh, will deliver uh, the result that the people of the Pacific uh, have been uh, long waiting for. I want to just focus on a few themes. I want to say that this is long overdue, and that's been said before too. Also, acknowledging the special portability and uh, pay extra special attention and mention of those New Zealand citizens in the Pacific, the Cook Islands, Nui and uh, Tokelau. Can I thank the governments, first and foremost, of those countries who uh, have um, been long at pain to bring their concerns to realisation, and uh, they will be happy with how this will proceed. I'm lucky because I have an electorate where uh, the, the, uh, the underpinnings of the Rongotai electorate are very much uh, Pacific. and. <coughs> One only needs to look in, in Newtown there, and it became the mini Pacific of, of Wellington, the capital city. Um, my father was a Methodist minister in, in Newtown, and, and many of his colleagues were uh, pr um, proud to um, talk about the history, particularly, you know, if I start with the Cook Islands, um, the Reverend Tariu Taia'ia, who was the first uh, Cook Island minister ordained in, I think, the early 50s into the Pacific Islands' Presbyterian Church there in Newtown. And that also had uh, a Nguyen congregation by the time it hit the 70s uh, with the late uh, Langi Sepuli. Uh, and later they moved from there to St James and to St Giles now in Kilburnie. My point is, is that those churches as symbols of the Pacific remain. The communities uh, have moved on. The, um, the mamas and the papas are still there. Some of the, the, the whānau are still there. Unfortunately, house prices are a little high these days, um, but generally they continue to work locally uh, and their spirit, their heart, very much remains in the electorate. I was fortunate enough, I had to answer to mum and dad occasionally, and they tell me, you better get to church. So I, I am privileged to, um, to, to talk to uh, the, the congregation still, and it is very much the talk of the church aisles. And I hope uh, when it gets to the select committee process, they bring the colour of the Pacific to that select committee and let them know forthright what and why uh, they think this is a wonderful idea. They spoke of the anxiety, they spoke of tension and stress, uh, children versus parents, parents versus the mamas and the papas. Um, but what it will do, and it's why I'm commending this bill to the House, is it will finally deliver that cultural respect, uh, that dignity, uh, and also allow Fano to focus on that social and economic impact, um, whatever country they're in, at whatever age, 
uh, aligning to the, uh, to, to, the, to, to the notions in the bill and bring happy whānau uh, once and for all, Madam Speaker. I call Dr Shane Whitty. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, greetings also to our, to our guests. It's a, a pleasure to shake, take a short call on this bill.